Hello, everyone. Good evening. Tonight, we are at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Yeah, well, we're going to try out Sebastian's Bistro. Yeah, we're super excited. They have a fantastic menu. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's Disney's most uh, affordable buffet that's currently out there right now. So we've never been there. It's going to be new and exciting for us. So come along as we explore. So now we're all checked in. I think we're just gonna hang out outside, take in the sights, and boy, it's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. The sun's out, the water looks beautiful. So let me show you some of the sights. Just to step through the menu with you guys, the Sebastian's dinner pricing is $29 per adult, $17 per child. The main menu is comprised of these pull-apart rolls, which I hear fantastic things about, followed by a nice spiced necklace salad. You got some greens, kale. Those pumpkin seeds sound good. It's kind of fitting right now with the fall coming on. Get those candy walnuts and radish. This looks very, very good. Then the main entree is this taste of the Caribbean. So this is all you care to enjoy. It is family style. This is not a buffet. Um, so if there's anything that you do like on this, uh, this menu right here, they'll bring you more of it. Uh, finally is the house-made coconut pineapple bread pudding. I know Shanae and I are very, very pumped to get to that. Uh, on top of that, you can add their coconut shrimp. So I know that that has also been a big fan favorite. So we've elected to add that onto the meal itself. Um, and then I think we're gonna take a look at the cocktails too, because these things look really, really good. We are in the Caribbean and their cocktail menu definitely points that out. So they have a bunch of specialty cocktails. They have a Caribbean smuggler, they have a margarita, Mai Tai. They even have a bunch of like really high-end specialty rums. 15 bucks for that rum flight doesn't seem too bad when you look at uh, what they have here. But I think for tonight, we're gonna split one of these Caribbean smugglers. So that's got Captain Morgan spiced rum, it's got a coconut bay rum, or pear bay coconut rum, and it's got cranberry and pineapple juice for, for 11 bucks. I think that sounds really good. So the, uh, the waiter said this was his favorite drink, so we decided to go with it. So we'll see how it tastes. So we were just noticing, we even liked how the, uh, the napkins are actually red. So place a little attention to detail, so red for Sebastian's. guys and our first course is finally here so we have the spice necklace salad with the key lime dressing the key lime dressing we have these pull apart rolls over here look at these things wow here, let nice, me and, just open nice that and warm up. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> it even comes with a guava butter and then an onion jam. It smells very good. And then we got our scrimpies. Check out those coconut fried shrimp. With a spicy mayo. Yeah, and it comes with a, a spicy mayo. Look at that. I think these are, uh, I think these are gonna be really good. Setting a tone for the meal. All right, so up first we have the uh, pull apart roll with the little onion jam on it. And I can't get over these uh, these little pull apart rolls. Like, look at how look how thin that comes. Just... <laughs> these rolls are fantastic. Like it's they're warm, and that little onion jam I wouldn't think would be like something I'd like, but I mean it's. Very good. Highly suggest. This is the uh, the guava butter, I think. Right. Oh, that's very, that's very sweet, but it's very good. Um, I think between the two, if you like sweet things, I would I would stick with the the butter, the guava butter. Otherwise, like this, this onion jam is a really good option. It's just something different for usual bread service at a Disney property. So I would say the bread service alone is, is definitely like a four and a half out of five. It's fantastic. It's really good. Got a little sam sample platter over there. Oh yeah, Taking I'm Taking in all the good treats. So I've kind of already snuck and took a little bite as you were getting your stuff. Yeah. These rolls are five out of five for me. They're really good on their own. So I'll go in your order here with the onion jam. Okay. You can taste the onions in that. So if you're not a fan of onion, I wouldn't go that route. I do like onions, so I think it tastes delicious. For the guava butter. It's sweet, but kind of subtle, right? Yeah, on my bottom, I don't know if it was a little roll, so it's kind of like a sweet, but a salty. And it's really good as well. Yeah. The onions kind of remind me, um, you know when you buy those like little burgers and they put onions on there? Yeah. That's kind of what it tastes like. All of it is extremely good. I actually give this a five out of five. I think these are the best rolls I've had at Disney so far. We had a special delivery. The, the smuggler just showed up and paid us a visit. Look at, I like even the cup. Like the cup is really nicely designed. It's cute. It's got a little foam on top, it's got a little pineapple chunk. Let's try it out. This, this will make for a very happy Thursday night. This is very good. <laughs> this is delicious. This is dangerously delicious. Very good. I'm five out of five all day. That is delicious. Told you. That's a lot of fun in the cup right there. Fun in the cup, yeah, sure. Okay, so we're gonna try the coconut shrimp. Let's see. This is fantastic. Some of the best coconut shrimp I ever had. Has the a very is, crispy crust. Yeah, the shrimp is cooked perfectly. Like the crust is like very, very crisp. But like in a good way, mm -hmm. and it's not it's not oily at all. Like this is five out of five. It has a good coconut flavor. It's as fantastic. Well. It, like for six, it's worth eight bucks in my opinion at Disney. This is not a bad deal. I'll try some with that. I think it's a spicy mayonnaise. It's like a spicy mayonnaise. So let's. See. Is it spicy? It's very spicy. I wouldn't say it's spicy for me anyway. It has a little kick. But it adds like a nice little seasoning to the to the shrimp. It's fantastic. I don't draw it like plain or with that sauce, it's five out of five. It's fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna try the salad that they come. Mmm. I was curious about that key lime dressing. Just like in a key lime, it has that really tart lime taste. The salad dressing has that as well. It's more like a balsamic key lime. I give this a five out of five as well. 
It's very tart, but it has a good sweetness as well. I really enjoy this salad. All right, so the main course is here. So just to start, we have the uh, citrus chicken, the oven roasted citrus chicken. Next is the slow cooked mojo pork with mango sambal. Then we have the grilled flank steak with the mojito relish on the side. That's what this is. That looks really good right there. Yeah, and they were saying with this flank steak, if you like it a certain way, you can order it that way, but it has to be the same for the whole table. So if yeah. you don't like rare or medium rare, you can order it a little bit more well. Yeah. Yep. And then you have the, um, what's that, the cilantro rice and beans, mm -hmm. and then a vegetable curry, and then a, bro a grilled bro broccolini. I'll get it out. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm all squared away. We got a little bit of the mojo pork, some steak. That rice looks really good. I'm, I'm intrigued about this vegetable curry. I don't know about you guys, but that broccolini looks okay. Chicken too. Oh. I, if the appetizers and everything basically to this point have indicated anything, this is gonna be delicious. Diving into a little bit of the pork here. Very tender. You kind of pick up on the smoky flavor, like smokiness to it. I like this. What is it? A sambal is what they said. Something like that. It's very good with the mango. It kind it's of has not like mango and it's not spicy. Mustard. It's like a little mustard. It's like a mango uh, barbecue and sauce. I think it's more on the sweeter side than yeah. the spicy side. It's really very tasty. Very very tasty. I like that. I think we'll get a little little bit of flank steak now. That was delicious. That I, has so much flavor. I think you could remove the pork and the chicken, and if they served me an entree of just that steak, that's how good it is. It is fantastic. Not only is the steak good, but this little, what is it, mojito, cucumber yeah. salad, that is so delicious as well. It's refreshing. It doesn't taste like cucumbery, I would say. It has the crunch of the cucumber. Mmm, that's good. Chicken. Chicken time. That is good too. <laughs> so the roasting chickens become kind of a staple at all of the, uh, you know, kind of former buffet restaurants at Disney. Mm -hmm. I think of the ones that we've been to so far, where we've gotten roasting chicken, yeah. this has been the best. I would agree. Chicken. It's kind of like, let me show you real quick. It's like a dry seasoning. Yeah. Let me see if I can, there you go. So it's not like that chimichurri, like that green liquid sauce on there, which a lot of them have that, I think, repeatedly. This is like a drier rub, but it still packs a lot of the flavor. And it keeps the juiciness too on the inside. Yeah. Out of the meats, they're all three delicious. They're really, and they all really three good. hold a different taste. And they pack the flavor. Yeah. And you know, you know what I've noticed so far too, is the kitchen is really not that far from where we're sitting. This is a really small restaurant. Mm -hmm. Like it's not very big, so it's like very intimate in here. But like we're very spaced out. It's not very noisy. It's what, six, 5 30 6 o'clock on a Thursday and I mean like there's there's really no one here this is like super the, pleasurable yeah, and I think that's staff. why like the quality of food too is so good like yeah. the kitchen's right there it's a smaller kitchen smaller restaurant and I bet you that's why they're not cooking like crazy volumes maybe like elsewhere so the attention is, is really put to good use here I would agree and everybody that we've encountered like staff wise has been, been awesome. uh, really above good. and beyond. Yeah, the cast members are super great. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the side dishes. Yeah. Start with the broccolini. We'll start the broccolini. Let's do it. Broccolini, yep. Mm -hmm. That has like a grilled flavor. Yeah, it's fantastic. It, it, well, it is, but it's really good. Yeah. And it has that like right amount of crunch. It's not like too soggy. They served broccolini when we went to Ohana, right? Yeah, and it was not good. It was horrible. It was horrible. And I this love is, Ohana. This is really good. Like, this is very well cooked. This was a very smoked flavor, I would say. Like that. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah. That would be really good with the pork. Like, they complement each other very well. Very much so. Okay, rice and... Oh, rice sorry. and beans? Rice and beans? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
I'll have to give it to Disney here lately. I don't think it's I've tried good. many rice dishes at Disney before. The rice but is like fantastic. over at Animal Kingdom. And Boma. And Boma. Yeah. And here. It's really good. They do an excellent job with the rice. It's just like fantastic. Yeah, you normally eat rice and you're like, mm, it's kind of bland or it's just like there to kind of fill in for things, like soak up a lot of stuff. I, but I could eat this like just on its own. Yeah. I almost want to ask for the recipe. Like, <laughs> what do you do? With I make this rice? at home, you know? Like, this is really good. All right, vegetable curry. Sure, I had to sneak a bit of rice in there. Yeah, vegetable curry. That has a little kick in a good way. That's the spiciest thing we've had here yet. That's the spiciest thing. Still, again, I, honestly, Low there's the nothing here. Not that, intense, but yeah. very good. You know, it's but it's got a little punch to it. I haven't had anything I haven't liked. No, everything, I'm just gonna do it right now. Everything about this meal is perfect. They have cooked this phenomenally. This is probably one of the best, this is the best all you can eat restaurant that we've ate at. This is blowing me away in all honesty. Like You're five, I'd give it a five. It's the cheapest on top of all of that, which is not reflective of the quality of food. And this is so fantastic. Pretty in here. And the service is great. Five out of five all day. I will come back here. Bring your family, bring your kids. Tell your friends, <laughs> tell your loved ones. <laughs> oh. oh man. I gotta stop there. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that, the wheel is out of here. <laughs> so get a little ice cream, a little of the pud. No words are needed. <laughs> five out of five. The pier it's, it's amazing. It's really good. It's warm. I mean, it's got a perfect balance of pineapple and coconut to it. The caramel sauce is at the right temperature. I, I, there's just like, what's there not to love about this? I mean, you can just feel your left ventricle slamming shut with each bite, but it's a, it's a fantastic delight. It's all. Awesome. <laughs> just eat your Just every little thing with okay. pineapple, coconut bread pudding. What do you think about it, Shay? I agree. Words can't describe. You're just gonna have to come here and try it out yourself. I think we are walking out of Sebastian's, we're both in agreement. We could use a, a oh. wheelchair or a stretcher to. Like a roly poly. Old. No. <laughs> it was so much food, but I mean, my goodness, was it fantastic. It was absolutely good. Yeah, yeah, and I can tell you this much: the uh, we we cannot go on enough about how how great the staff and the uh, the service was there. Our server's name was Omar. Uh, he was fantastic. We were very nice. grateful. Uh, if you do get to go there, try and ask for him. He was he was really really good. And, You're in uh, good hands with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think we're gonna keep going on like in amazement of how good the food was and the, and the service. We know was probably yeah. gonna be great. But for Disney, that's $29 per person. Now, outside of Disney, that's expensive, rightfully it so. Yeah. But for here at Disney and like these types of services and meals that that is, yeah. it's kind of like a two for one. Yeah, it really is. It was $53 just on the meal for Kyle and myself. Yeah. So usually when you go to other restaurants, that's like, it could be more just for one person alone. Yeah, and we did get an AP discount, so we that's did. important to know. But still, if you didn't, $29 for a meal. I mean, you know, you go to other buffets right now or the all-you-can-eat places, it's like $55. And quite frankly, like, this food was absolutely fantastic. So this is, without a doubt, in my opinion, the best and most hidden gem in all of Walt Disney it's property. It's a little hidden like, oasis. It's a little hidden oasis. Crocky, there's an alligator. Ah. He's very nippy. <laughs> you know, I can really tell you that since they've added the Skyliner, the experience here at the Caribbean beach has been like really amped up. Like I have to say, did you find it, a cannon? Yeah. I've been shooting people in the skyliner. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You've been shooting people with pixie dust. <laughs> like, 
Well, I would say, like, if you have a kid that, like, likes the pirate thing, yeah. this is a really cool resort, even if you don't stay here, to come and check out. Yeah. We'll show you the gift shop here in a little bit. We got to kind of, like, do a quick sneak peek on the way to the restaurant. Yep. And they have a lot of pirate gear. And as you can just see, you can shoot people with pixie dust, let them fly. <laughs> it's real fun. This area, this area right here, this is for your enjoyment. It's from sunrise to sunset, so time's a ticking. <laughs> Just inside the Calypso Trading Post, they have a ton of Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. So if you didn't get your fix of the Magic Kingdom, you can always come here to the Caribbean beach. Get yourself a little patch and an earring. A little patch and an earring. Look at that. You got, they got your stock for Halloween here. Ooh, you can grab all the jewels. Oh, yeah, they even got a brand, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Lounge Point. This one seems fun to me. I love Battleship. I haven't played this in forever, but like a, a Pirates of the Caribbean themed one. I feel like it's kind of neat. Like, look at the game pieces too. Like, it's, it's they're all uh, <laughs> wicked wench. So you get cutlass. This is really neat. <laughs> oh, look at the little pegs look like uh, barrels. <laughs> so here in the gift shop, they have coconuts. They're twenty-two dollars plus shipping, and they even already have them like ready to go for you. So you can send like your family a coconut. You can send it on the coconut telegraph. Look at that. <laughs> Uncle Jimmy would be very happy. <laughs> they have a banana cabana bar shirt. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Look at the little pocket too. Isn't that nice? I like that, yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's a thin shirt. I usually like them like a little on the thicker side, but it's still, it's a nice quality shirt. The banana cabana bar. That place is amazing. <laughs> we'll have to go there one day because that place is awesome. It's right next to Sebastian's too. Yes. I feel like I found the most appropriate shirt that I should have had for dinner today. What is that? Oh, it's a Sebastian! <laughs> they truly have everything in here. If you wanted to like, grab a quick thing before you went to the park, like shirt, ears, hats, even snacks. Or should I say island imports. And when you come back from the park, they have you stocked as well. Look what I found. What is that? Little wilderness explorers there for your for like your iPod, uh, your AirPods. Look at that. <laughs> and I like this one. Spaceship Earth. Oh, that is cool one. How much are those? This is uh twenty dollars and twenty dollars. Yeah. But this one's really cute though. Do, do, do you think that this would be appropriate for me to use at work? I mean, not that I go to an office anymore, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine me going to a like a conference with this thing? <laughs> like, <laughs> look at the size of it. Like, like, hold on, let me but you can borrow my pin. I mean, make this, sure you give it back though. This thing is intense. <laughs> like, it is heavy. I got my one eye on you. It's a brand new limited release, wishable for Halloween. It's the, it's the headless horseman. Ooh, Isn't that cute? Mysterious. That is cute. Though. It doesn't have a price. Maybe it's. $12.99. Priceless. All right, guys. Well, I think that does it from the Caribbean Beach Resort. And I think you know our opinions about what we thought as well. Yeah. Yeah, this has absolutely <laughs> been a fantastic experience. If you've never been here, or if you've been passing through, like you're gonna go to Epcot, or you're at Hollywood Studios, and you wanna get on the, the Skyliner, you're looking for something to eat, definitely come and check out Sebastian's. It, it is fantastic. I just cannot say it enough. Five out of five for sure. All day long. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, hit like, subscribe. And until next time, bye. bye.